Okay, following up on our previous screencast about categories, now let's talk about tags. What are tags and how do I use them? Okay, tags um, are similar to categories, um, except, uh, well, let me demonstrate to you how they're different. Let's go take a look at our posts over here. Okay, and uh, let's see, oh, let's go ahead and edit, uh, check out our new band lineup over here, okay? Tags are basically terms or keywords that you can assign to each post, okay? Like categories, you can use tags as another navigational tool, but the difference is, is that tags, you can't create hierarchies, okay? Um, you've probably seen tags in the past, okay? You have lots of websites use these. Um, they're just keywords that are, that you can use to, that are that are relevant to the content in this particular piece of content okay and um, um, they're really really useful to use and and you can you can create tags on the fly and in order to create tags um, you can just you can just type them here in the tags box so in this case what is this particular post about it's about our new band lineup so we'll say uh, band members um, let's say photos uh, uh, line. I don't know what what I, what else I would say. Band members, photos. Let's just start with that, okay? And I've noticed that what I've done is I've separated every keyword or term with um, with commas. Um, photos is one word. Band members are two words. So I've because I want band members, the words band members, to be considered one tag. Um, I've put them together. I've, I have that space in there, but there's a comma after that, and, and WordPress will recognize that. So let's go ahead and click Add. And so here we see automatically WordPress that goes, okay, I've created a tag called band members. I've created a tag called photos. That's fantastic. Okay, and so let's go ahead and click Update. And while that's updating, let's take a look at what's happening on our front page over here. Uh, we just added tags to this first article right here. Let's hit reload and let's see what has changed. So far, everything's looking very similar. Ah, but there we go. Now we've got a little bit of extra information here. This entry was posted in Band News and tagged Band Members Photos. Okay. Um, and like here, like we're in the last screencast, we learned that if we click on Band News, it's going to bring us to an archive page that lists all of the the articles, all the posts that are actually um, categorized under Band News. Likewise, if I click on this, I could well, on let's say I clicked on the word photos, then this brings me to an archive page where I only see um, articles or posts that are tagged with the word photos. Okay, so you might be thinking, yeah, that's very, very similar to categories. And yeah, it actually is in the way that I'm using it here as, as a navigational tool. It is different, except that most of the time, websites will have fewer categories. Like, you know, it's not unreasonable to have less than six categories or maybe around, you know, maybe five or ten categories. Um, but they'll have hundreds of tags, okay? Um, and what can you use tags for? It's not just for navigation. It helps people identify what the content is in that particular post. Um, you can also, there's also plugins that allow you to do nice tag clouds, and we'll see that in a future screencast as well, too, um, where you can see different, uh, the words, you know, might be bigger or smaller according to the number, the frequency with which that tag appears on your website. And then that's kind of a really nice sort of intuitive way for people to browse around the content on your site too. Um, so tags are actually quite useful. Um, what tags aren't necessarily uh, sometimes when I ask my students, well, what are tags used for? One of the first things they, they say is, oh, well, that's what people are searching or that's what your search engine, you know, the search function is looking through. And that's not actually fully accurate. Um, the search function, if I search through here, doesn't just search through tags. It also searches through the full text. So you don't need tags for search. Okay, it doesn't hurt, but that's not really what it's for. It's really more about creating extra navigation for people. So um, so if people are interested, like I, you know, I let's say I decided I'm, I don't have a category called photos because I don't need that, but it's just nice to have that as a tag. That just lets people who are only interested in photos click through on that. Okay, let's add a couple more tags. Oh, by the way, let's actually under here, take a look at where these tags are living. Just like categories, we can keep track of our tags here. We could add descriptions. We could create, we could manually create tags here if we wanted to. 
and that's not a problem at all. Um, but I find I find that it's usually easiest to just kind of do tags on the fly. Um, and again, you can also use the quick edit function here to add tags like this. So in this, and that's often the fastest way to do it if you're going back and adding tags to pre-existing content. So let's say in this case we'll say um, uh, music songs. And then let's add Paul Federici. There we go. And so I'll go ahead and click update. And let's add some tags here. I'm going to say band, uh, well, let's say recording studio. There we go. Okay, we'll update that. And that's updating. And then right here, Jane Smith is our new awesome guitarist. Let's add this to, let's make that band members. I'm recycling one of the previously used tags up here. That looks good. Okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, go, okay, yeah, I'll accept that. In fact, while I'm here, why don't I change this to the correct category, band new. So I'll go ahead and click update. And let's go take a look at the front page of our website again and see what's changed. Okay, that's loaded up. And we've got Century was posted in band news, tag band members photos. And then here this says, this was posted in music notes, tag music, Paul Federici songs. We started recording a new album, band news, recording studio. Okay, and then here we go, tag band. Let's take a look at something. Here's an example of one where we've got a couple pieces of content that are tagged with band members. Okay, um, so works in a similar way to categories, but think of tags as being just keywords that you attach to to posts um, that are, you know, then the keywords are just keywords that are relevant to that content, whereas categories are more like, you know, if you were to file this post inside a file folder, what would the name of that file folder be? Okay, so they're more kind of all-encompassing. Also, categories can be hierarchical. Tags can't be hierarchical. They're just, you know, you can use them as a navigational tool the way categories are, um, but they're really just keywords that add extra information about your content. Okay, they're, they're not so much a, a, a classification or a categorization tool. Okay, so um, categories and tags, both really, really useful. Okay, I encourage you to experiment with that and think about the content that you are, uh, the type of website that you're building and what content you're going to put on there and try to make decisions about categorization, categories and tags that make sense for your website, okay? And, and that'll probably evolve as you build your website. That's it for now. I hope that that was helpful. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.